Hi, I'm Eliav from Lunar Dev. Consuming third-party APIs in production often presents ongoing pains once the integration stage is over. Whether it's rate limits, the need to optimize costs via caching responses, or maintaining seamless continuous authentication, just to name a few. API consumers often find themselves diving back into their code bases to patch solutions in an ad hoc manner. Lunar Dev changes that by offering an API consumption management solution. We are entirely focused on making the consumption of third-party APIs as smooth and effortless as possible. Lunar Dev works its magic by routing outgoing traffic through Lunar Proxy, where pluggable configurations can solve various API consumption issues. In its on-prem setup, Lunar Proxy operates right alongside to your application in your cloud. In order to channel traffic to it, Lunar Interceptors are offered. These are SDKs in various languages that allows you to redirect traffic to Lunar Proxy with just a single line of code. These two components are production ready, fail safe and secure. Let's take a look at an example of how Lunar can tackle a common rate limiting issue. API providers often set limits on the number of requests clients can make. A typical rate limit might allow, say, 500 requests per 5 seconds. Exceed this and you'll get hit with a 429 status code. And if clients keep making calls even after these 429 responses start coming in, some API providers ramp up the waiting period, a tactic known as exponential backoff. Lunar can easily help sidestepping these exponential backoffs. It eliminates any calls made after a Windows quota is exhausted. Now, looking at this dashboard, you'll see that a significant chunk of requests end with a 49 status code. This is because the API provider has a rate limiting policy that includes exponential backoff. Our solution set up a simple plugin policy of type strategy-based throttling This policy reflects the consumption rate set by the API provider, which in, in this case is 500 requests per five seconds. Once we apply the policy using a simple single command, and then after a few moments, the change is obvious. Avoiding exponential backoff clearly pays dividends. The balance between 200s and 429s has flipped and overall performance of the system has improved. That's it for today. Thank you 